Republican senators voiced dissent over the recent border bill aimed at increasing migration. The bill was introduced last Sunday, causing immediate objections from the Republican Party. Senators assert that President Biden holds the necessary executive powers to address the southern border crisis. Heavyweight senators unanimously expressed their displeasure with the bill during a press conference. Senator Cruz held President Biden responsible for the border crisis due to his early executive orders. Cruz suggested the president could undo these executive decisions if he desired. He further critiqued the president and Senate majority leader Chuck Schumer's stance on border security. Cruz argued the situation currently enables an influx of approximately 1.8 million migrants annually. House Speaker Mike Johnson highlighted the low chances of the bill's success in the House of Representatives. Senator Cruz proposed the bill might be a politically calculated move ahead of the November elections. He declared the bill lacks the necessary substance to be transformed into enforceable law. Senator Marshall agreed, stating that firmer border controls were never a priority for Biden. Senator Vance asserts Biden already has the tools and authority needed to resolve the border crisis. Vance argued for legislation that compels the president to use his powers effectively and enforce stricter order. He criticized the bill for allowing discretionary bypass of enforcement mechanisms by the president or the secretary Mayorkas. Senators Schmidt, Marshall and Cruz label the bill as fundamentally ineffective and predict a swift demise for it. Senator Lee reaffirmed this sentiment, stating the bill is unlikely to succeed past the initial cloture vote. The Republican standpoint is that Biden should resolve the crisis without promoting increased migration.